Hey, what's up, guys? Notice the beard's a little shorter, huh? Wanted to expose my jawline. I got tired of ugling it up for y'all. Here's the deal. I was just on a, uh, a thread post about Kempo stylus. Kempo's cool. I ain't got no problems with Kempo. But they were talking about nerve cluster shots. Punches to nerve centers and nerve clusters. The only nerve cluster I've ever known that works is the eye, the throat, the groin. That's it. Other than that, then you got soft tissue targets like the lower bladder, lower abdomen, anything in the mask, neck area, and in a skull. Back behind the head and the ears. Temple. That's about it. Gross motor movements. I look at things as like just shadows of where you want to strike. Nerve clusters. Here's the deal with that. Everyone wants to know. Oh, what's the deal with pressure point biting, cute show, and all this mumbo goodness? All right, here's the deal. When you're in a fight, Cortisol is pumped through your bloodstream under a fight or flight uh, stim stimulation. So when you're when you're adrenalized, you could have a broken rib in a fight, not even realize it. Let alone somebody giving you a little ninja death touch. Now there are things you can do, like when I'm grappling, I'll put my elbow in people's here, so they put their hand up to stop it, and I go for the arm bar. That's called a badger harassment series. Thank you, Eric Paulson and the CSW team. Uh, that is, uh, is it a pressure point? Yeah, I guess. But not in the way that Kyosho guys, and, and when they're talking about striking nerve clusters to get a reaction, that's not going to be the case. People are adrenalized. You, they, again, they won't even know that their ribs are broken until 15 minutes after the fight. They're driving home, and they're like, look over to their girlfriend and go, damn, honey, I think I broke my rib. That's just how it works, man. People <laughs> people are a lot less uh, sensitive than we thought, you know, back in the in the early 80, uh, uh, in the early 80s, even uh, early 90s until UFC came along. We we were still believing that there was a potential for a death touch. Now, could I be proven wrong at some point in my life? I stay open, why not? But until I am, I just got to believe the facts as they are presented to me and train accordingly. So speed is good, but power is needed. If you're fast and you're hitting because you're, you're going to, you're, you're fast, but you're like a pup, powder puff and because you're going to rely that you're hitting a moving target under an adrenalized state fast enough to hit a nerve cluster that's going to do any kind of damage. I think you will feel sorely mistaken and embarrassed when those years of your style get Peter rolled by a dude who hasn't done anything but had two older brothers that he wrestled with. That's just the fact, Jack. And until I'm proven otherwise, that's what I'm teaching. That's the theory. I'd love to hear y'all's comments. I like to hear what other people think. I love different ideas. You're free to disagree with me. I don't have to convince you, but if you are convinced and you do like what you what you see, feel free to uh, share it. Feel free to comment. I love to uh, jabber jaw with y'all. I love to learn. Talk soon.